when you find out like you're going to get to play your five seasons in boom, you're playing a whole new character. You're playing a traveler, this guy, like what is your experience? So which guy are we talking about here? Julian. Which guy are we talking about here? I was like, literally I had the same reaction. I'm like, <laughs> so, oh yeah. Dude, Rebecca, do you remember? Can you give us a 10 second? Well, <laughs> yeah, he, you, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Julian was in play. Cause remember we had this whole thing with like travelers could be passengers, right? Inside somebody's head. So they, they, they passengered this guy, Julian, who, uh, who died a traveler into, to Tyler. You were tied up in some set that was like a, in some room under a hospital bed or something during the end of the season. It was like, it wasn't a train yard. Oh, it was a train yard. Man, it was a train I am... yard. Maybe. Where they were all the, all the travelers gathered. I'm blanking. Yeah. I think one was a mall too. I'm, bl- I'm, I'm, I'm blanking because the only, when I'm thinking, you know, we're bringing up doppelgangers is the, the only time I can think of like from actor performance standpoint was I was able to play Klaus for two episodes because he had taken over. And that for me was interesting because it was trying to like embody Joseph Morgan essentially. And he's very particular and he's got his ways on how he's playing Klaus. Just call me love. I don't know, love. Did I? What the hell did you do to Tyler? That's what I enjoy about you. So much more than a pretty face. Oh my God, you're Klaus. You're disgusting. And you're a glorious kisser. You know what? But then I'm trying to remember, like, how many times did was Tyler either either dead or brought sure, back a lot. or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm trying to. This is season five, right? Okay, okay. Season. Five. This is the, this is the season where you go yeah, from hybrid to by the finale you're human again. So it's like a real roller coaster. Got it. After all, after all that. Well, you know, it's, it, here's the thing also, you know, it, once you get into season five and I can, looking back on it now, just, I can only imagine in the writer's room trying to wonder like, where do we take him now? Or where do we put this person through now? And it's, it's difficult because just like Julie was saying, like the creatively, everybody wants to be stimulated or challenged and not try to do the same thing. So it's like, man, it's gotta be so difficult to, you try to make everybody happy, right? Not only the fans or the studios or your actors or your writers, everybody. and that's just one of the creative ways that like at the time, I didn't know it at the time, but looking back on it now with more perspective and maturity and growth, I'm like, that's hard to do. That is hard to do to make it make sense and to plug it in for the overall story arc, but to make, make your cast happy with something new. Um, yeah, that's, that's where you have to go. Essentially that's where you have to have to go at some point uh, in building out that. That world. was <clears throat> honestly just when you have series regulars and the show grows and grows and grows and you know, you're, you're killing yourself in the writer's room, just trying to give everybody good story. And there comes a time when you're like juggling. I mean, I remember once in season two, when we looked up at the board, cause we put everybody's headshot above the writer's room board just to remember like, you know, who we're working with. And, um, <laughs> and we had like 15 or 17 series regulars and recurring guest stars. It, and we were like literally writing story for 17 people and our heads would explode. And so things like, and Tyler, Michael and I talked about this all the time. Like Tyler was difficult after a while to find new story for. And so there'd be these long pockets where, you know, after the werewolf journey and then after the class, this was like the culmination of the Klaus conflict really was the end of season four. So we're like, oh God, now what? you know, and, and, and when the character dips and you don't really know what story to tell for them, that's when you pull those little tricks out of your hat. Like, oh, let's put a traveler in him and let him, let the actor play something that's juicy and exciting without, you know, without worrying about like, breaking story for the character. That's why we turn characters villains all the time, you know, bad so-and-so, because it's just like, all right, good. That's one less hero to service. And then it's a villain's face that you love. So you get to see the actor do, do different things. And season five is inevitably right about when those things happen. 